ability to, to, to shoot over 20 people and kill 10 of them is something that you would expect a, 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 essentially a weapon of mass destruction to do. Another push for gun control? Okay, guys. Okay, so first and foremost, hey, if you're new to the channel, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are interested in getting gun news on a daily basis. So kicking right into this, there was this 72-year-old guy out in Monterey Park, California, who pretty much shot up these two ballrooms. And this was all going on during a Lunar New Year's festival. Okay, so this 72-year-old guy that shot up these two ballrooms and eventually went off to later get into a confrontation with the police and wound up shooting himself. His name is Who Can Tran. So he's Asian, so that's his name. However, I don't think his name is even relevant because honestly, I, a lot of these people, that's exactly what they want. But that's neither here nor there. But the weapon that he used for all these crimes was a semi-automatic pistol with an extended magazine. His motive is currently unknown, but we're just gonna watch this video real quick and we'll I'll give you my little breakdown after. Yo, and as always, the full video without my commentary will be in the description below. Police in Southern California say the suspect in a deadly mass shooting in Monterey Park is now dead. The Los Angeles County Sheriff says 72-year-old Hugh Contran died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound and was found inside a cargo van after a standoff with police. Well, he's accused of opening fire at a dance studio Saturday night, killing 10 people and injuring 10 others in a Lunar New Year celebrations. After that shooting, the sheriff says he went to another gathering nearby. Cool celebration. And yet another community has been torn apart by senseless gun violence. And we understand that the murder weapon has been described as some yeah. sort of assault pistol. It's a, it's, a, it's a designation. It was, I have to admit, in the press conference, it was a little bit vague. It may be that they're still studying the gun. We, we do, uh, uh, pistols just describes essentially the length of the gun. Uh, there are ways in which uh, the, both the, the capacity and the speed of the bullets uh, and the magazine's capacity uh, can turn these into essentially semi-automatic weapons, even though they are designated as pistols. It's a very, very contentious issue, but uh, obviously here in the United States. So I, I believe, even though he was vague as to the specifics of what kind of gun, he was implying that while it was not our t the, the typical semi-automatic automatic weapons that we see in the United States, uh, an AR or something like that, uh, that, that, uh, that, it, that it killed people very quickly. And that's, the, that's, that's shown in the evidence. When you look at the time frame for what happened on Saturday night, uh, the police uh, receive a phone call. They are in the room uh, within uh, about two and a half minutes, right? You don't, you know, that's a very quick response time and the ability to, to, to shoot over 20 people and kill 10 of them is something that you would expect a, 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 essentially a weapon of mass destruction to do. Okay, so you seen that, you heard that. So clearly this was an evil guy. He had evil intentions from the start. Now, if these places was no gun zones or not, I do not know. I tried to look it up, couldn't find it. However, I'm willing to bet that these people did not carry guns into this place. This should have known this information and he used this to his advantage. And instead of just calling it for what it was, you have the media out here pushing this as a gun control issue. <laughs> this man just came in here with an illegal firearm in the state of California already and just killed 10 people. And probably more because the other ones that he did shoot and they didn't die are in critical condition. And they are like 50 to 60 and 70 plus years old. But instead, we got the media out here making up terms, now calling this pistol that he used an assault pistol. To go as far as one CNN news anchor calling this weapon a weapon of mass destruction. You would expect a, 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 essentially a weapon of mass destruction to do. Moving forward, we need to understand that everything is not going to be cupcakes and rainbows. There are people in this world that are going to commit evil regardless of what law or stature that you place on them. So when able to deal with that check, if you're going to have a no gun zone or an establishment that you know guns are going to be real dense in that area, it needs to be some type of armed security to help protect the people when a threat comes and shows itself. The media is already trying to portray this shooting as an assault pistol incident. They are already trying to do away with rifles and already, as you see it right here firsthand, they're trying to go for pistols next. 
it is a scary number of people that the mainstream media have brainwashed into thinking these incidences is the gun's fault. We need to know and understand that we are responsible for our own lives because when law enforcement shows up, they are only there to deal with whatever aftermath that the shooter have already caused. Hey, but that's all I got for this. Hey, well, like I say before, if you are interested in getting that gun news every day, I'm going to be dropping it every day. So subscribe if you're interested. Hey, but I've been J. Rose one and I'm out.